July 7th, 2022. I'm writing this at around 2 a.m. I've been shot in my left arm by a sentient skeleton. I know I sound crazy, but I think it's better if I tell you from what happened after the events of last night. I woke up and the sun was just beginning to rise. For a moment, I felt warmth and joy as the sun had started to shine its warming key onto my body. But it was momentarily broken by the sound of fire and growls of pain. It wasn't coming from any animals or any objects that I could see, but it was actually coming from the zombies. It seems that the sun's brightness hurts the zombies. It sets them on fire until they burn to death. What a way to go. At least I'm not like them. And I hope to never be like them. After witnessing quite this show, I decided to keep on trucking until I could find something that may help me with... whatever, I guess. While writing this, I've actually come to question something. What do I do? Do I find a way out of here? Is there even a way out of here? Is this actually just my life now? So many questions, I'll save them for later. Anyway, while I was walking through the forest, I had found a town, but it had seemed abandoned. Or maybe everyone that did live there just died. I became sick to my stomach, thinking about how I may be the only person left alive. I quickly forgot about that thought though, because in the distance I swore I thought I could see another person. It wasn't like yesterday, where I thought those animals were other people. The shadows this time looked like actual humans. I ran so fast to try and see if I could catch up to them. But as soon as I came within less than 8 inches of the being, I soon came to realize one fatal problem with this person. They had no skin. It was just a pile of bones holding a bow and arrow. And as soon as it saw me, it started firing away. Its first arrow missed, but its second one did not. The skeleton's second arrow hit me directly in my left shoulder, causing immense pain. The skeleton started to get closer, and with each step he took, the more the pain began to sink in and sting and bleed. I couldn't think, it felt like I was about to die, but I came this far, so I won't give up. I immediately got up without hesitation and started running to the nearest habitable structure I could find. I found a house that was slightly broken down, had some cobwebs and some holes in the ceiling and ground, but it was habitable, and it was where the skeleton wouldn't look, and so I stayed still, until he left. I moved the arrow from my shoulder, but removing it caused some unforgettable pain. As I said earlier, it is now about 2 a.m. I'm going to try and fall asleep with a rundown bed I found in the house and hopefully get some rest, but if that skeleton comes back, or if any more zombies show, I am most definitely dead.